Hello, my name is Vitaly Glebochkin. I'm speaking for Lake Sharonov, and today I will tell you about the color correction by numbers using curves in 3D LUT Creator. I'm gonna use usual RGB curves, which affect the image in the very same way as curves in Photoshop or other software. The difference is how we move the points on these curves. Before we start, I'd like to remind you that RGB curves affect all the colors at once, so you should clearly understand what can be fixed with curves and what cannot. RGB curves are good for fixing white balance, light flares as the one on this photo. Also, they are good for adjusting the contrast. But such problems as mixed color temperatures in a single shot, color casts, skin redness or sunburns can be fixed only by local correction. It's impossible to fix them by the curves only without using masks. This is why we have A, B and C algorithms where you can fix those problems easily before working with the curves. Now let's look at the photo. Due to light flares we have quite greenish skin tone here. To control it by numbers I'm gonna add three colors to my color palette. You can do it by clicking the image with Alt Shift. I add the color from the brightest area of the skin, from the mid-tones, and from the shadow area. You should pick the color from the area where there are no additional tints. For example, you shouldn't pick the color from the cheeks as they usually have blush on them, so the color hue would be different. Now I look at these colors in the palette and notice that these colors don't look like skin colors at all. I switch the color mode to HSV and my main interest would be the hue value or the color angle. In the HSV color space, the color is represented by the angle in the color circle and the values of saturation and brightness. Red color has zero hue angle, yellow hue is located at 60 degrees, green is at 120, and so on. The skin tone hue usually lies between 20 and 28 degrees, but here we have 50 degrees that tells us it's quite green. I can try editing curves manually as I did before, but now we have a much better way to do this. If I activate targeted adjustment tool in curves, I can choose the mode of the curves adjustment. That means I'll be able to put the points on the RGB curves with one click, so that the chosen color will get specified characteristic. For example, I can change the brightness without affecting the color, change saturation, or change the hue without affecting brightness and saturation, and do it all by numbers. Isn't it awesome? Let's start with the saturation. I click the palette instead of the photo to always work with those three colors. I hold down shift button, click the color plate and drag the mouse up. As a result, the saturation increases, but the hue remains the same. I also increase saturation of other colors. As we can see, each curve now has three points that increase the saturation of these colors. And again, RGB curves affect the whole image at once, so it's impossible to correct few different colors simultaneously. As my goal is the skin tone now, there is no sense in trying to correct the black color of her jacket, for example. After I get the skin tone I want, I'm gonna see how other colors look, and if the overall look satisfies me, I'll leave it as it is. If it doesn't look good, then I will go to the mask tab and make the mask for the skin tone and correct the rest. So I increased the saturation, but the hue remained at the value 50, still staying too greenish. So now I will change hue. I choose hue in the targeted adjustment tool and shift click the color plate. It doesn't matter which one to click, they work the same way. Moving mouse down turns hue towards green, and moving mouse up turns it towards red. So let's leave the hue at the value of 26. I will repeat the same for midtones and shadows. The shadows in skin tone are usually more red as the light comes reflected from other parts of the skin and gets warmer. That's why I set it not to 20, but to 14, for example. Here are the curves we've got. Let's compare the original image and the result. Now skin color by the numbers is good, but lacks the contrast. I'm gonna switch to luminance editing. As the highlights are bright enough, I will darken the shadows.
and again, luminance changes without affecting the color. Then I lower mid-tones. and try to make highlights brighter. I add a little more saturation to the highlights. And tweak hue a bit. Here is the result we've got. Here is before correction and here is after. Working with this tool is much simpler because at each moment I work separately with the color of the brightness. I don't have to move points at each red, green and blue curve one by one, trying to balance between hue and contrast. Now let's try this on another photo. Again, I can see that the hue is wrong in the skin tone color, so I can try to correct it by numbers. I add three points, holding down Alt Shift in the brightest part of the skin, in the mid tones, and in the shadows. I don't sample color in this area because there is a color cast from the dress, but I pick the color from here. I switch the watches to HSV and see that the hue values are 30 and higher that means color is shifted towards green. I'm gonna fix this using Hue tool. For example, I make Hue 27 here. Twenty three in mid tones. And eighteen in the shadows. Once again, in the shadow skin should have more reddish color tint, so hue is below 20, and in mid-range hue should be in 20 to 28 range. Here is before, and here is the result. The saturation is quite high in the mid-tones, so let's try to decrease it. Here is before and here is after. And now let's try working with luminance, maybe the photo will benefit from it. I increase the highlights and the mid-tones. And let's make shadows deeper. No more contrast is needed. Once again, before and after. As you can see, skin has become much more natural. As you saw, creating curves with these tools makes it much easier to achieve desired colors by the numbers. Without these tools, I would never create the curves like this. But still one should remember that these are usual curves. And if you get two colors, which are located near to each other on one of the curves, you should pick different colors, because two adjacent points can create very hard slopes. That's all for now. You can download the demo version from freedalatcreator.com. Thanks for watching. Have a good photos and grading. Goodbye.